Hi, this is Hosen Chang. Okay, the, the video today we have the uh, Dante Brooklyn Board test. Okay, so uh, right now you are listening some sound from the uh, kind of uh, complicated, but I'm uh, let me just explain it. Okay, the first thing uh, the actual multi track source is from the W Live card. Okay, so uh, as you see the rolling right and also uh, let me check the um the routing okay first let's go to the uh okay output uh, let me this is first okay double live okay so right now the double live card has the about 14 tracks so no number one through 14 right but i'm um here is a Dante out, so uh, we have a uh, 64 coming out. Okay, I assign like this 414 through 464 tracks. Some of the things are kind of uh, stereos or yeah, but basically they are all mono tracks here. Okay, so from one through 64, everything is routed. So the uh, we have a uh, 64 track, 64 channel out to Dante network from the um brooklyn board here so uh, from the mm, double live it's just directly to dante so there is no signal passing through the console it's just the patching right so that's coming out to the uh, dante network here okay and then i'm a uh, dante i have a uh, uh, logic going on so i open the uh, 64 tracks so every individual thing is connected like one by one. So the uh, the number one goes to number one, and number two goes to number two, and sixty four goes to sixty four. And also the uh, whole the direct out from the the, the logic out, so DBS out, right? So it is like uh, monitoring from the out. So I I like to check the uh, the how how sixty four in and out actually work on the uh, Dante Brooklyn card that I installed. So you might uh, see my video and even Visual Tribe, they, they acknowledge the, uh, this whole, whole thing. And, and I'm kind of uh, actually mi middle on the road, like a warranty or out of warranty or something like that, but that's not a problem here. Okay, so I'm gonna just uh, yeah show you the how things go. So. The double live is going on to the Dante 164, and then the source right here. Okay, let me get the um, the alternative input here. One through uh, right now, kind of yeah. Um, I set it up to the uh, 64 on this side, so everything is coming in. So when I uh, flip the channels every signal is on right 40 channels where there is a stereo things going on so total 64 is coming in so if i just uh unmute this yeah there's a whole lot of things whole lot of things so this is the uh the double live to logic so double live dante dante network dbs Logic and again Logic DVS Dante Network and Dante Card Brooklyn Boat and then it comes to the wing mixer. Okay, there's a like whole signal test that you gotta understand. Okay, so as you see, like whole 64 track is in. So basically, the Brooklyn Card works just as it should be. It's like the Brooklyn Card itself is just uh, like. Yeah, combining the, the actual digital audio to the network, right? In and out. So 64 in and out works. Just as you see this. Okay. That's one thing that I want you to see. Too loud. So I'm gonna just uh, reduce this a little bit. And uh, I'm gonna show you the um the fun thing here. Okay. Number one and number two. Okay. Let me go back. Patch. Number one is from Dante, right? So the, the signal from uh, double live to Dante 
DVS logic and came out to DVS Dante and Brooklyn board and coming to the wing here. So this is the number one. Number one, the alternative source is MOD. There's a Dante module. Okay, I, I guess it's MOD module. Okay, number one is this is the coming from the Dante. Okay, and number two, this is from card, which is double live card. So we can actually check the whole kind of latency. Yeah, going to the uh, Dante and logic and coming back, Dante and coming in and co coming into the wing, wing right? So basically, I'm um, uh, I s yeah I set up like uh, some funny things. Look at this, okay? So uh, I set the uh, delay here, okay? About thirteen point fifty milliseconds. So we got a oh. I set up the uh, whole 4 milliseconds on each Dante devices. So Logic and DVS and all the, uh, the Brooklyn board here. And also the um, I set up like 128 samples on the Logic the buffer. And um, yeah, that's it. Okay, so if I unmute this. Yeah, we are listening like double sound, right? So the um, the delay on the Dante, no, 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 delay on the double live output. I set up the uh, delay here, thirteen point fifty milliseconds. Okay, let me just uh, flip one of these invert, invert, so we can see the uh, the actual timing on this one, right? So I'm gonna invert the kick. Okay, let me just get the everything else out, but just a kick, right? Number two, invert. What do you think? Sound is gone, right? Phasing, right? Out of phase and like, yeah, just uh, in phase, out of phase, so sound is gone. So if I reduce this volume a little bit, then you will hear the sound. See, a little bit up. So about the same amount. Sound will be gone. Yeah, like this. So the um the thirteen point fifty millisecond is uh, like four latency that we have yeah the the level difference is well i just uh, trim the uh, the input here so there is a kind of boost and uh, yeah and that that thing here okay so uh, basically if i mute one of this we will hear the sound okay okay so i invert of about number one invert gone okay and if i uh, do the uh, phase invert on the logic sound will be gone same thing so same sound and same timing the adjustment here okay so that will be the uh, exact amount of the whole latency okay well it is something like this okay let me just mute this and i also the uh, my vocal is from right now you're listening from my vocal from the whole Dante path because um, the input that I have normally this one so this channel is local one so I put the uh, microphone there and the uh, patch on this two just directly go to the Dante and to the logic and coming back so the this sound is from the uh, the whole signal path. Okay, same thing. So if I unmute this, okay, yeah, because the, the volume is getting lower, right? Because I, hold up. Uh, okay, 
okay i invert it here okay so let me just uh, uh, adjust the level so totally gone okay one two yeah that's the same amount 1350 right nice right so actually we cannot calculate like how how long the uh, whole latency is okay so mute to unmute here So everything is working. Everything is working really well. Just as you see here, uh, Dante. Yeah, this is the going out and coming in, right? And goes to the like I said, um, uh, it goes to everything here. Dante goes to the uh, this side. So like this. That's why can listen the whole the track everything is working okay all right that's it folks and yeah i've been uh, reading like so many people just keep saying that i'm uh, this is kind of a really really bad thing and it doesn't work and it will be harm to the uh, mixer and the the board and whole 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 lot of talks okay that's okay that it's up to you diy is the thing that um you gotta have a responsible yeah for that so if you brave you know no brave is not a word on this it's just yeah if you really need it well in someday yeah better will release the internal dante card someday i'm not sure why but uh, but I, I know why, and you guys know why. Okay? Um, all right. Um, uh, yeah, just when I talk, where the, the, the voice that I listen, the voice that you listen is from, like, whole signal group, right? But it is like I, I cannot just hear the latency here. It's, it sounds like just... No latency. One, two, 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 two. Yeah, it's just nature to me, even though it's from uh, Dante here. Yeah, Dante, right? The module eight. So even though I have a preamp on the uh, yeah, local input on the wing and goes to the Brooklyn board and to the uh, DVS logic coming back from a DVS, Dante and the Brooklyn board and coming to the uh, wing and OBS yeah the the monitoring that I have is like yeah to the uh, USB out to OBS and coming back and I am monitoring the sound from there but I'm uh, it seems like uh, I feel like there's no latency here so it is amazing thing yeah, when you think about the uh, whole Q mix on the DAW, yeah, like uh, audio interface, it's like even the Pro Tool, yeah, it is kind of difficult to have the uh, whole monitoring. So they have a uh, direct monitoring, right? So j just don't go to the uh, the whole DAW, but um, it's just uh, interface itself is just direct feed to the uh, monitor. Okay, so um, I think this is really good okay really good in the uh, recording environment too okay and also we have a wing here so if you guys use wing for your studio we don't need to worry about whole Q thing there because um, uh, normally when mm, uh, we have a sessions they need the yeah musicians needs to hear and we can just simply patch from the mixer here okay and also Dante yeah if we have a uh, if you have a Dante IO box and and uh, there is an easy way to get the Q mix. All right, I hope you guys are enjoying this one. And this is kind of really late here, but um, okay. Thank you for watching and keep digging and and I appreciate a lot to the uh, Music Tribe and Bellingers and uh, the, the reply that they made. So the camera is keep moving. Alright, uh, thank you for watching, subscribe and let me know what you think.
All right, bye. 谢谢投资权。